welcome to another video of All Things Apple Plus. I'm so excited to show you guys off a just a better version of the PlayStation 2 emulator. It's currently running on my iPhone 8 Plus, and today I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and install this. I cannot believe how fast this game has been running. It's been super smooth. There, don't get me wrong, this game or the emulator is far from being complete and you know completely uh, playable at the moment. There are some glitches, there are some hiccups, so know that you will be able to play some of your games at least in the 30 frames per second range and know that it may your games may or may not uh, cause to break, not break, but just to glitch at certain points. I've only gotten so far within Final Fantasy X and I've noticed it does glitch a little bit here and then I've been able to play like just the beginning of Kingdom Hearts and it just, it, again, it's only, it's it kind of just glitches from time to time so i'm trying to figure out a way around it maybe a saved data spot where i can load the game into but for the moment this is where we're at right now but i wanted to show you guys this tutorial so let's go ahead and get on into it the first thing that we will need upon going upon getting the emulator to work and the, the games to run We'll need, of course, the play emulator. We'll need a download manager like your files app, or if you want to do this via PC, you can get iExplorer and load the actual ISOs into the files app. So once we have all three of those applications, we'll go ahead and jump into Cydia. And if you are jailbroken, make sure, well, first of all, make sure that you are jailbroken and navigate into Cydia. And then from Cydia, we're going to open up our sources tab. And from our sources tab, we're going to, I'm going to actually leave the link for the, uh, source below it's city.purei.org go ahead and jump into that repo and download the actual play emulator from there it'll go ahead and install onto your device I, of course i already have it onto my device but make sure that you guys get that installed then under the, our files app i'm actually back out from the main folder that we need to get our isos in but we will need to go into our very the actual root of the of the device or in files uh, go under var and then from and then from var, excuse me, we're gonna scroll down into mobile. From mobile, we'll go into containers. From containers, we'll go into data. From data, we'll go into application. And then from here, it may differ from you, but for me, the actual play emulator is a little bit towards the bottom. It's about like maybe a fourth of the way down, and it should say play with a little exclamation point. We're gonna open up that, go under documents. And as I have the Kingdom Hearts 2 ISO right there under documents, you're gonna to need to put all your ISOs into that folder right there. Either using a uh, iExplorer, which I've come to really enjoy using, or you can use your files app or your download manager app, and then making sure that you go to a website accordingly and download your PS2 ISO file. And then once you get that 7Z file, making sure that you can extract and open within the actual files uh, app because that's what will allow you to go ahead and transfer that doc and then you can find your iso file from there and then you know copy and paste to the correct folder accordingly i again i currently used the ix i explore through my pc just plugged in my phone used i, I explore found the actual main folder that my iso was dropped into and then was able to relocate it to the correct folder needed. But I hope this did help you out. I hope this tutorial showed you kind of the right directory, the right path to go ahead and put your ISOs. If it did, and you found yourself successful in getting the PlayStation 2 emulator on your iOS device, please leave a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how it fared for you, and I'll be catching you on the next one. Peace.